how to use Shopify for your restaurant. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how we can turn your usual shop of Shopify into a, a restaurant theme store. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. So the first thing that you need to do is to head over shopify.com, sign in for an account and here we have our uh, admin dashboard. So if you want to set up here a step-by-step -step tutorial, you are going to visit here all your stores, create a store from Shopify. I'm going to create here a new store. So we are going to set up the online store and also we are going to add here the uh, in person at a retail store for example if we have a running restaurant right there and we are going to click on next here i am going to select here i'm already uh, selling i'm going to set up here the business that i have uh, selling from platform i'm going to set up the other right there click on here so what are we going to uh, sell products of course services like that i'm going to click on start and now you are going to select the plan of yours on shopify so this was a quick tour on how we can open up a shopify store so now for the main subject of today's video how can we make that store a restaurant so aside from setting up the shipping and also the delivery and the payment methods, we are going to head over the sales channels. This is the first thing, select the online store. And from here, we are going to see the themes. So usually you are going to get the DOM theme as a standard theme. So basically right there, you can go ahead and customize that theme by clicking on customize. It will open up right there at the Shopify store builder. So you are going to make that specific theme into a restaurant theme by adding some banners, images, texts, and images uh, that are going to make that restaurant uh, be appealing. For example, for this one, you can go ahead and see that we have the header, the template, and the footer. So for the template, we have the image banner. You can go ahead right there and install or upload a restaurant uh, image. So I'm going to do that. So basically I have used pixels to get up here uh, a uh, copyright free image. So maybe we are going to get this one, for example, or this one is better. I'm going to click on download. It will be downloaded. Now we are going to add it into here, upload the image. So we are going to wait for the image to be uploaded. We're going to add it right away. So in the meanwhile, after we have added the image, so we are going to see this one, browse our uh, latest products here. I'm not going to click on here, but I am going to click on the file or at least the box of this specific uh, right there uh description our latest uh for example plates so i have changed it you can go ahead and set up the heading size like that so we are going to click on the button here and not click on shop all but we're going to see here uh explore all for example like that and the first button link is going to uh, get them to the uh, product page. So basically everything is set for this one. Now for the featured product, which is going to be here, a section added, you're going to create your products from there. So you are going to head over products and start creating your products. For example, for the food, we are going to create some plates, dishes, and etc. You're going to set up here. For example, we are going to type in spaghetti, spaghetti like that. So we're going to select this one. I'm going to get, get this, for example, we are going to upload it here or drag and drop it. doesn't matter. Uh, Italian spaghetti 
for example, we are going to set up here the component. I don't know, here we have pasta, for example, I, I, uh, Italian pasta, not spaghetti. Pasta. You're going to set up here the ingredient cheese, for example, tomato sauce uh, or original. For example, Italian, Italian tomato sauce, um, for example, um, I don't know, it, it doesn't matter here for these, we're going to set up the price, for example, of the plate, let's say here, uh, for uh, $99, for example, you, you are not going to track the inventory what there is, so you are not going to track it. The weight, it doesn't matter all of these, so you are going to add just this product from here and you are going to see it right away. So after you have added the product, you are going to see into the featured product and etc. So this is the manual method to add that specific product into the theme or the store. So let's say that you want to add something professional or more desirable for a restaurant. Either you are going to head over the theme library or there and visit the theme store and get up something that is going to be here more professional. I'm going to click on browse theme and we are going to see here the industry or the type of the themes or you can go ahead and type in here the theme for example of press Toronto industry so we are going to see here the theme um i have typed restaurants i think restaurants this is the restaurant themes so you're going to see them on the shopify uh library a little bit as you can see uh, expensive 300 260 uh, 400 I don't, I don't know about these products uh, these product prices, but I see them a little bit uh, expensive. You can go ahead and get or pick up a theme from Envato Elements for much cheaper. So you are going to head over Envato Elements uh, or elements.envato.com. You're going to search from here on web templates, select that and type in restaurants. So you are going to browse here the restaurants and see if one of them are available or a Shopify theme. So we are going to get that. Uh, also, you can get the unlimited downloads only for $16.50 cents per month only for this one. So you are going to get a lot of um, uh, right there. As you can see, uh, specific items. Or you can go ahead and buy the templates for less also you are not obliged to use Envato, but we have multiple choices on the web so that was everything about that specific restaurant and how you can go ahead and create it so i am going to give you a preview of a website that we have already which is the pesto one here i'm going to select that website so you can go ahead and view the demo store or you can go ahead and try the theme without buying it. So you are going to get an idea how you can customize it, how you can add the different uh, compartment sections, blocks to it and see it here. So I'm going to click on try theme and it will be adding this theme to our library. So we are going to see in just a few seconds. Boom, here we have it. We are on the theme trial. So I'm going to wait for the website to uh, uh, right there to upload or set up the elements. Then we can go ahead and customize it. So I'm going to click on the button customize. It will open up right there the website. So everything is changed. We have a hamburger menu. As you can see, we have the catalog the home button, the contact, and etc. Now let's explore a little bit of the website. So as you know, the uh, Shopify website or store editor will open up here at this specific page or this builder with a seven or 70% uh, right there of the website and also 
where they are 30% only on at the control panel of this one. So as you can see, the difference between the template that we have chosen, which is the Dawn theme, is going to be here. We have a lot of blocks, tons of blocks, and a lot of sections. So do not get confused. These sections and also these blocks could be added to the Dawn theme because all the themes that are available in the Shopify library theme are based on the Dawn theme or any theme that are available in here. So as you can see, we have an example product like this. This is a, as you can see, uh, a programmed or pre-programmed product. So whenever I hover the mouse about or on top of a product, it will showcase this one and also shadow case this one. So we have here the prices, as you can see. Uh, also, we have some uh, events going on with there. We have some uh, header for uh, your collection as you can see you can add go ahead and add some items right there uh, these items are fully customizable for you so uh, for example this uh, right there we have the testimonials we have a lot as you can see of options uh, here we have the menu so you can read the menu they have set it with a very very smart way so you are going to select this uh, specific uh, right there form. I think this is not a form, but this is the review, the blog post. So you can go ahead and modify this specific area. So you can go ahead and head over here, set up the menu and you're going to uh, change it as much as you want. So that was pretty much it for this store. I'm going to exit it and this is the comparison to ours. So I'm going to click on customize. So you are going to get here some more choices. Also, you can go ahead and modify the color palettes of the theme. For example, here we're going to see the uh, banner or the featured collection. We are going to select another scheme, which is going to be changing the whole theme for example also here at the header you can go ahead and change the scheme of it for example to this color so you are going to get here a unified color i'm going to change the footer also here we have the scheme i'm going to change it to something like this so as you can see we have customized this so you can you only need to add the specific sections the blocks you can add some slideshows right there for the menu and for the menu you can go ahead and add a multi-row for example like that a collapsible of collapsible i mean content you can add a photo collage right there for the plates uh right there rich text and whatever you want so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one